Hi, it's Dr. McLaughlin, and I'm here with Natalie. She was kind enough to help explain some of the techniques we use to make the herbs as comfortable as possible. So I recently received a few questions about the paper towel trick. First of all, before I get to it, I'm going to let Natalie tell you about her experience in the herbs. So Natalie, how long have you been in the herbs? Um, about 10 months. About 10 months. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it was like when I first placed it 10 months ago. Um, it hurt kind of, but then I used the paper towel trick and it helped a lot. Did it? How would you describe the first week in the herbs? Um, it gave me a few sores, but if you use the techniques it'll help, but then after that it all went away. Do you think about the herbs much now when you're in your day? No. You really don't. Does it limit you what you can chew or eat? Um, I mean you don't want to eat like sticky things with it or else mm -hmm. it'll like, get caught up, but yeah. Good. So. Let's explain to everybody else so they can learn how we do the paper towel trick. You really can start just with a simple paper towel, the type you would find at a school, in the cafeteria, restrooms. Uh, we have these as our standard paper towel here in the office. So once it's unfolded, you simply go to the corner and pull off a, a corner that's about three inches by three inches. And it tears pretty easily. It doesn't have to be perfectly square. Then you fold it three to four times. I'm looking for the size of something between, say, a penny and a quarter, all right? Now, at this point, it's folded, but it's, it's dry. So we'll just use a sink, for instance. Right now, I've got a little bit of water in this mixing bowl. We simply wet it, pour out the excess, and then it's important that the patient place this paper towel trick between the cheek and the distal hub, the hub where the arm of the herbst fulcrums against the first molar. So they simply pull their cheek out and place it. I'm going to let Natalie show you from start to finish. Good. And it basically just stays there, doesn't it? You don't have to think much about it. I asked the kids to wear it 24-7 for the first seven days. 24-7. That means when you're eating as well as sleeping. I believe most of the sores occur during the sleeping time when we're resting against a pillow on the sides of our face. So this has been my go-to band-aid, especially during the first week while the inside of the mouth is toughening up. But as Natalie said, you really only had to use it for a week, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have you ever had to go back? Have you had any sores any since? Any no. sores since? So that's our technique. It's pretty simple. Um, but I strongly recommend it for that first week that you make it a mandatory uh, addition to their herbs therapy. Thank you, and thank you, Natalie, for helping.